Wow, guys, I have spent a few days with the iPhone 8 Plus camera filming and recording, and I can, without a shadow of a doubt, say this is the best smartphone camera I have ever used. And in most areas, it is an improvement over the iPhone 7 Plus. So in this video, I just wanted to do a little comparison. The iPhone 7 Plus compared to the iPhone 8 Plus, is the upgrade justifiable as a standalone camera device? Oh my goodness, this thing is so beyond impressive, mostly in the dark, the shots you can get, you could never imagine to get on such a tiny sensor from a smartphone. So the magic Apple has implemented into this phone is there. And I've been nothing but impressed with the shots I have taken that would have looked just mediocre on many other cameras, many other smartphones, but the iPhone 8 Plus just manages to make it look that much better. Hands down, this is an incredible camera, but getting into the details, let's take a look at that quality compared to the 7 Plus. All right, taking a tour through the gardens here, so you guys can get an idea of how the colors look. This is a really, really vibrant color here and both look good they both look really good here iphone 8 seems a little bit brighter to me a little bit more vivid and i hope i'm not just saying that because it's the newer phone here fantastic detail definitely have to do a focus test to see how they focus because the 7 plus wasn't the best here's some yellow wow looks great and some more so some motion for you here. This is in 4K 30. Hey buddy. And uh, these little guys, look at them in there. It's hard to see, but there's a lot of them just chilling in there. And some doves. Hey buddies. Up close and personal. These are so mild-mannered, they're so cute. Quails. <laughs> All right. Pet the cat, man, please. Give it some love. He's just chilling. We should take this cat to the Halloween party. <laughs> oh, buddy. This is like the best cat in the world, just so relaxed and chill. Okay, let's test out that shutter bug. So, to an extent, oh, it is present on the 8 Plus when looking directly at sunlight. Notice that chop. So that leads me to believe it certainly is a shutter issue and not a sensor issue. Wow. Huh, I am a bit disappointed to find that on there. Those stages of chop, you can definitely see them on the iPhone. Would have thought that Apple would have fixed that by now. So it's not as apparent. And yeah, coming from direct sunlight back to this cat, immediately you can tell the blacks seem a little darker. I don't know why that is. You can just make out more detail. And the bouquet effect, great on both. All right, let's move on to some other colors here. Some whitish, bluish. These guys look fantastic and let's check out the caca doodles over here got some dark ones Ooh, whoa 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 this is the iphone 8 plus's home environment where it does really good in the dark less noise more detail you can see there behind these chickens Look at that, looks fantastic. So in a lower light, even with an ample amount of light, the iPhone 8 Plus still has more detail in the background. Cool. All right, let's do a focus test here, just so you guys can get an idea of how long it takes to focus. So I've got this subject here, up, down, up, down. Uh, both are still pretty similar. They're not the fastest to find the subject does take a while to search for it so uh, focus isn't the best on both pretty slow still i would say the galaxy is the fastest out of these 4k a little light in the background here another quality test and uh hype beast over here hype beast yeah we got escobar i'm just kidding zapata here 
cool. Zapata. That's what the shirt is about. Anyway, some gorgeous colors, man. I, we live in such a blessed place here. I'm able to see stuff like this on a daily. So uh, we're gonna be seeing here a beautiful sun or sunset in just a second. Are you advertising Mac tools? Yes, I am. All right, so let's do some motion tests, see how this looks while running. I'll be telling you. All right, so I don't expect there to be a difference because these are both the same spec, but in some rough terrain here, just to give you an idea. All right, and uh, I'll zoom in the same amount on both here. So we get a two times zoom. I'm gonna be using the other lens. Is that Mount Hood? Uh, where? Mount Hood. All right, so there's two times. Having a little trouble focusing here. And uh, let me go all the way in, see if there's a difference in that stability. So very tippy top. Eh, about the same here, can't say one's better than the other. <laughs> All right, selfie cameras, same sensor. Oh, hey, hi, how are you? <laughs> uh, shining bright, I can see. So I uh, can't say there's a difference. Oh, turn this way, away right. from the side. All right, towards this one. Oh, These no, are both seven megapixels. Mm. On paper, they're the same camera. So this is portrait lighting mode. I'm gonna stand here with you and uh, as you can see, the lighting behind him does change in real time. Stage light. And uh, let's take one here. So here's a portrait mode with the darkness, stage light, contour light, studio light, and natural light. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at those. The lighting does change. Oh, that's pretty cool, wow. It's uh, quite, careful with the edges except where it can't be as you can see there is some light bleeding but overall looks it's pretty cool <laughs> uh -huh. looks good man all right so wow world of difference because this isn't a 4k 60 video you guys can't really tell but it is so much more fluid it's ridiculous so notice how the shutter issue is completely not present while the iphone is in 4k 60 even though it's not shown it does not have this issue at all, so it might be something with the frames. Interesting. So next up, I wanted to extensively cover the low light capabilities of the iPhone 8 Plus. So there are two things in the equation here. For one, the new and upgraded sensor, which allows more light in. It's a little bit bigger, higher quality. So there's that. But there's also another side of that equation, the digital image signal processor. So Apple using the A11 Fusion chip has dedicated a portion of that processor just to get the perfect image in all situations. So no matter if it's dark, no matter what's going on, you don't even need to fidget with the HD are anymore you're gonna get that perfect picture so this is 4k 30 frames per second and i am in a pitch black environment well not pitch black but near that so what can i tell from this just panning it's smoother on the iphone 8 plus in the dark that's for sure you can make out a little bit more color even at night it's not so washed out so there's a green light there got a little bit of a bluish light there and a yellowish one here. So looking up at the lights, you're getting more detail in those darker areas, certainly. Wow, that is so impressive how good this thing is at night. You don't get as much noise and you get, look, if I go all the way out into the dark, you definitely can make out more details there. This one's, my 7 Plus already lost focus, huh? All right, let's refocus and go back in the dark. Yeah, it's definitely more detail on the 7 plus and it doesn't lose focus that is a world of difference wow so even just standing here it won't focus until i tell it to and then i'm pressing on the screen and it won't focus right now there's not enough 
uh, detail for it to focus on actually. So on a hill across from downtown Seattle, I just thought, hey, can the iPhone 8 Plus make out the details of the city from here? I've been coming here every single year with every different version of the iPhone. And wow, you literally can see almost every little detail, something that on a DSLR, you might be able to get this shot, but on an iPhone, that's crazy. Not only is the quality better, there is less noise in the image as well. And the colors, the colors are more vivid. You can actually see the real colors of the city. They're not all whitewashed like they are on the iPhone 7 Plus. And zooming in real close, you can actually make out much more. I mean, it is grainy on both, of course. This isn't a huge image sensor where you're gonna be able to make out all those details, but it certainly is a huge improvement over the iPhone 7 Plus in color, clarity, and everything else. And one of the biggest changes to the iPhone 8 Plus is the slow sync flash. It completely transforms the nighttime photography using flash. Images look much better, color and everything appears more realistic how it actually is. One of the most most underrated changes of the new iPhone 8 series. So in general, the pictures, I mean, they're good on both the 7 Plus and 8 Plus. It's very hard to distinguish between these most of the time, but the colors are just a little bit better on the iPhone 8 Plus. When you start getting a little bit darker shadows, the iPhone 8 Plus is the winner in those. I mean, it just looks fantastic. And that's not to uh, rain on the parade for the iPhone 7 Plus. It's still a fantastic camera, but this, this is Apple's best camera. And so to wrap this up, guys, this is seriously the most impressive camera on a smartphone I have ever seen. The perfect picture in any environment, no messing around with the settings. Apple optimizes that all for you to give you the best possible camera phone experience in your pocket. I mean, DxO Mark rated it as their number one camera ever, and that's the benchmark for these cameras. It's, it's just crazy, guys. If you're looking for the best camera on a smartphone, look no further. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Peace.